So of course, in this question, we are given the density of aspirin. We are also given a mass, and we are asked to calculate a volume. So in order to solve this question, we will need the relationship between these three quantities. We all know that density is equal to mass divided by volume. Since the question is asking us to solve for volume, why don't we go ahead and do so in this equation? So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by volume so that it cancels out on the right-hand side. And then we can see that volume times density is equal to mass. And then we will divide both sides of this equation by the density. And this will allow us to solve the equation for the volume. So volume is equal to mass divided by density. So far, so good. We do have to be careful, of course, because the density is given in terms of grams whereas the mass that's given is in milligrams. So this is an inconsistency in the units, which means we're going to want to convert from one to the other to establish a consistent value. Why don't we go ahead and convert the mass from milligrams into grams? And let's see how we can do that. So here is a list of prefixes along with their abbreviations and meanings. In this question, we are given our mass again in terms of milligrams. We can see that one milligram, according to this chart, would equal 10 to the negative three grams. So why don't we write that conversion down on the side? Again, one milligram will equal 10 to the minus three grams. And we will use that conversion factor to convert our given mass into grams. So we'll take the 2.5 times 10 to the power of 2 milligrams, and then we're going to multiply by a conversion factor. When you set up your conversion factors, make sure that whatever unit you're beginning with will be the same unit in the denominator of your conversion factor. So we're going to stick milligrams down here. This way, when we multiply, these will actually cancel out. Our target unit, the unit to which we are trying to convert, is grams. So we will put grams in the numerator. From this relationship, again, one milligram is 10 to the minus 3 grams. So we'll put a 1 down here and a 10 to the minus 3 in the numerator. We'll go ahead and multiply so that the milligrams cancel. And when you do that, you will see that your mass turns out to be 0.25 grams. So now that we have the mass in the correct unit, and we have the density given as 1.40 grams per centimeter cubed, we can go ahead and easily calculate the volume from the equation we established earlier. Volume is equal to mass divided by density. So here we go. Volume is equal to the mass divided by the density. Let's pick up our calculators and compute this. When we do so, we get about 0.18, or perhaps we can say 0.179. I'm not sure if your homework system is picky about sig figs, but this should suffice when you enter it in. When you look at the units, the grams will cancel out, and that's going to leave you with centimeters cubed. And that's exactly the unit that the question requested. It wanted it in cubic centimeters. So this would indeed be the correct answer to part A. Let's take a look at part B. So in part B, again, we are asked to determine a volume, but this time they give us a mass in terms of pounds. So that's a little bit inconvenient. We're going to, again, need to convert that into the consistent unit of grams. And we've looked up in our textbook a nice conversion here. It turns out that one pound is equal to this number of grams. So let's do a conversion to get the pounds into grams. We'll take the 605 pounds, and then we'll multiply it by a conversion factor. Same idea. If you have pounds to begin with, you're going to want to put pounds down in the denominator, and then your target unit, grams, in the numerator. We can see from the conversion that one pound is equivalent to 453.59 grams. So we will go ahead and we will multiply. The pounds will cancel out. And when you multiply these together, you're going to get a pretty large mass here. It's going to be 274421.95 grams. So now that we have the mass in grams, we can again calculate the volume. We know that volume from our previously solved equation was mass over density. So mass divided by density. 
we'll take the mass that we just determined and then we'll divide it by the density which you will recall was the 1.40 grams per centimeter cubed. So let's do this division here and we end up with a volume of 196016 approximately and this will be in centimeters cubed. So this would be the correct answer to part B.